Four general managers and state-owned national flour mills have been relieved of their positions. It's a decision the company says is part of a restructuring exercise intended to bring its organizational structure closer to what is considered to be best practice. Janine Brown gives us the details in this report. The Board of National Flour Mills has made the decision to fire all four of its general managers, making the positions redundant. TTT News understands that the managers in question were informed of the decision, which was made with immediate effect when they turned up for work on Friday. In a press release on Saturday, the company explained that it conducted a job evaluation exercise in 2018 in which it found that NFM's organizational structure has too many layers when compared to what's considered a best practice for the industry. CEO of National Flour Mills, Calvin Mahabe, spoke to TTT and said the company followed a proper procedure in the terminations. All uh, the package, um, government packages, similar benefits and so on would be made to them. Their notice period for employment, which would be three months, would be paid, plus any accrued leave, plus the an extra share payment as well. But the NFM is maintaining that the recent axing is not indicative of any job cuts to come in the future for non-managerial staff. Instead, NFM says it will soon commence an exercise working along with its employee representative unions to upskill the workforce through a competency development program. The company says it's currently trying to grapple with several challenges which have decreased their profits, including increased competition, rising raw material prices, and increasing staff costs. Janine Brown, TTT News.